as per that, we're, we will be starting this session by doing a good old front to back, um, listening from front to back, utilizing that good old mosh pit um, ad lib, mosh pit dialogue. We will be checking out after so long, after so long, <laughs> a new it EP. Took forever. We'll pray for yeah, it took um, forever. <laughs> it, took, it took forever, but I'm sure it's going to be so worth it, dude. Forsaken and Cadaver alone. Oh, they're so fucking good. They're so <laughs> moody, bro. They're so <laughs> good. You. So, of course. And therefore, you know, even if that is half of the EP already, like, so fucking what, dude? We're still here to enjoy the music. We're here to enjoy some brand new material from a very underrated band. So, needless to say, let's go ahead and get into that process. I Be actually throwing us over here as you can see me kind of looking to the right from the camera's perspective um let's go ahead and look into sharing some audio let's go to the chrome tab if, if in case everybody wants to start a podcast and like wants to do something very similar this is how it works step by step um you, there there's a little share button on the bottom of the screen in the middle it's a box with an arrow goes whoop. you gotta click on that there's a chrome tab section and at the top, if especially if you're doing it the exact same way I'm doing, it will be YouTube with the band name, blah, 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 blah. Make sure to share tab audio and then yeah. boop, share. So. Oh, <laughs> 
Yeah, that's it. <laughs> God damn. That was good. Oh, oh, uh, oh my God. <laughs> that was. Yeah, you seem you seemed energized. <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, that was so nice to listen to. God damn. So, as per the front to back formula, I will be doing a brief review, and then we can go ahead and jump into our podcast. Mm -hmm. um, lyrical rating, I would say. Don't have don't really have one just yet because we don't really know what's lyrically going on as we usually do. So until we go under the skin, um, we kind of have to leave that neutral. So we'll go ahead and jump right over to the vocal rating. Andy, um, and is it Andy or Andrew? I forgot. Uh just just say Andy. It's fine. Okay. Like in German, it would be Andreas, but I don't want to do that to you. So just say Andy. Andreas. <laughs> Andreas. Andreas. Okay, that's yeah. Cool. But we all just call him Andy. Nobody right. calls him Andreas. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. So Andy, you know, he came back strong with this EP after so long of getting material out. You know, not to kind of uh, um, put put my fist into that and just like, ah, you guys took too long. But you know, needless to say, since the last EP that I listened to, to by them, the um, the latest, the latest, Jesus, the latest work, the latest effort that they put out. Um, I can definitely hear and tell there was a lot of improvement, mainly with articulation. Of course, he still sustained his very, very important, very distinguishable slam elements that predate most of the other bands in the same vein of music that I would find later on, right? He kind of introduced me to that lower spectrum, like, how is he going so low? How is he getting so dirty? But I can like still hear what he's trying to say. So vocal efforts, I would give a fat 10 out of 10. Um, instrumentals, genreically speaking, this EP I think is pray for pray, pray for pain's way of embracing even more groove in their music while still keeping that heavier aspect of it too. Like so, there's a balance, and in this case, pray for pain is one of those projects that embraces that balance in one of the heaviest subgenres in the world. Right? They sustain their groove, but they also have plenty of blast beats. They have plenty of just sound system annihilating um blast beats and double bass which i love to see and um needless to say you saw how energized i was so it kept me interested the entire time it was heavy the entire time but there was still room for ambience and it's definitely something i want to accomplish musically one day um so i'll give the instrumental the john erratic rating a 10 out of 10 as well um as far as the ep cover <clears throat> This definitely is fascinating. Um, it has a lot of sci-fi elements to it, and of course, the name itself being species. Um, one can only one can only start asking themselves questions, especially one like myself. It's like, what what's going on? Like, why is it called species? Why is why is there this like tower of flesh? And then like there are aliens kind of poking out from it. But not only that, but it seems that whoever this character is at the epicenter of the EP cover, he's underground. It seems maybe he's even in the hollow earth or some parasitic alien version of hollow earth. Um, there's a bunch of questions to be asked and that's always good with album or EP art to me is when the art itself intrigues you enough and you're trying to figure out how the art and the music itself connect. So 10 out of 10 overall rating. Well, simply said this EP species is I'm sure a long time coming and I'm sure we'll also learn about why um, there was such a gap in between the last EP back in 2014 and this one. Um, but needless to say, it was worth the wait. And not only that, but it was worth the time it took for me getting first into this type of music, starting a YouTube channel back in 2020, building a platform and now having the artist respectively on the podcast itself. Full circle moment here, ladies and gentlemen. So it's absolutely worth the wait. I would recommend that anybody listen to this and wait in great anticipation for whatever their next full length of effort could be, whether it be standalone singles or, you know, alluding to a bigger effort, as all bands have to do from a marketing standpoint eventually. But that will be the end of the front to back session. Whoop.